All right, welcome back to another video. This is another paid request, this time from Mighty. Thank you so much for that. For those interested in requesting any type of videos, topics, reviews, reactions, commentaries, re-reviews, uh, whatever case may be, PayPal is usually the best bet, or, or there's my Patreon as well, both links are down below in the info box. But PayPal is usually the best bet, especially if you use the, the friends and family option to, to make things easier. But uh, he want or... Mighty wanted me to react to a video from Mojo Plays called The 10 Steeriest Moments in Silent Hill Games. Now, like I do with reactions, I'm not going to show the actual video because A, I don't want to steal the person's video when I don't have their permission. And B, I don't want to deal with YouTube's copyright shenanigan BS. So I'll just have the link down below in the info box. If you want to hit the link and have it when you're on your computer whenever you do on, get on your computer another window or a tab and you want to follow along feel free and yeah the 10 steers bones in Sound Hill games I guess I would say you know I love the Sound Hill games played one and two quite a bit three I haven't played as much as I've wanted but I do know of it especially I'm assuming the bit in the bathroom where your image freezes it gets more bloodier i would also assume the bit where the light is chasing you i wonder if the bit with the, the haunted house where that body falls down is a good jump steer like oh shit you know that kind of thing selling them for the first half is interesting the second half i don't like that it's a bit <sighs> gotta protect this girl escort mission I don't hate Homecoming. Downpour, I, I played a little bit of Downpour. I would have to play a lot more. And I haven't played that in a long time. So all I remember is the very beginning when you're in the bathroom shanking someone. But other than that, but uh, let's get into it. It's 10 minutes and 59 seconds. Thanks once again, Mighty. And 3, 2, 1, pressing play. Uh, sound L2, of course. <clears throat> which they're remaking hopefully that doesn't suck all right so what are, what's the list uh okay i remember that from silent four that hallway of rooms and you go from in and out and one had this weird lady's face spoiler alert makes sense Subscribe and hit the bell. The same with my video. Subscribe, hit the bell. Sound of four, the apartment hauntings. Yeah, I could see that. Those were those were cool to see. <clears throat> it seemed like at times they could be random and what occurs. Like it's not the same each time. And I know you have to get these candles in order to get rid of the hauntings but you kind of want to do that off the get go so if you do that quickly enough you're not going to see the hauntings so I guess if you never do it at all then you just see these much more prevalent but I just see the hauntings I, that's a good PT I never got to play, Sally. I've heard and I've seen people play it. But Sally, I never got to play it. Because I didn't have the system for it. Then by the time I did the system for it, they took it away. I don't know if that was some kind of legality thing. Cause this is a demo to show what steers they could do. And then Guillermo del Toro was going to do it. Norman Reedus was going to star in it. Now they did do a game eventually called Death Stranded, which I've never played. I know people say it's a walking simulator. Maybe one day I play it, but maybe it's a request or something. But I don't have the game. I don't never played it. But it seems like a creepy game, a demo, I should say. So Sally never got to play it. I wish they would not have deleted it.
Yeah, I remember that Bard Sound Hill 4. And then there's like a big hallway where there's like doors on your left and your right, and one of them has this. It's definitely a weird, creepy moment. Just staring at you. I definitely can understand that being on the list. I don't know if I'd be steer, but it was like weird and creepy. <clears throat> hmm. Oh, the the ending of Sound Hill Two. I wouldn't say that's the scariest moment. Emotional moment. Important moment. Crucial moment. But I don't know if I'd call it serious moment. I, mean, I wouldn't call this moment scary. I mean, important. I guess that's the way they word it. Uncomfortable blot twist. I mean... I, I, yeah, I just I just wouldn't call it scary. Creepy or ooh, she like important. Lisa's death. <clears throat> eh. I I love the first Sound Hill game. I absolutely adore it. I can't. Er That's definitely a when the blood's coming out of her eyes, and then the bit at the probably show it where. He's covering the door. I can understand that being. I don't know if it'd be on my list. But I can understand that. One that I thought was even scarier were. The bit in the sewer. When you find the things and these creatures pop out. You're like oh snap. Crackle and pop what the hell. Or. With the. You gotta put. The fridge that you gotta put the thing on, and when you go, you hear this knocking and banging, and you're like, what the hell was that? Ah, <clears throat> uh, the the haunted Sound Hill Three, the haunt. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. <clears throat> the haunted house attraction. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, the red light. That's definitely a very weird, creepy moment. I'll see what, what about the moment where, when you're in kind of in that same angle in Sound Hill 2, and you make the turn, and all of a sudden there's Pyramid Head, and you realize Pyramid Head is right behind you, and you gotta run towards the elevator. That should be on the list. I would not put this on the list. The opening of Sound Hill 2. This is not scary. It's just moody. It's atmospheric. But I would not call it that scary. I did that bit when you're with the girl and you gotta run towards the elevator. Does it in your turn? And, oh my god, Sound Pyramid is right behind you. And then you, you gotta try to run to the elevator. Or again, you're like this and you don't know where you're going to. You find out it's an elevator. I would put that moment instead. Unless it's later on. But I, would, I wouldn't put the opening. To me, I would call it atmospheric. I wouldn't call this scary. This moment. So I disagree with this. And then there's other Sound Hill 2 moments that would fit the bill more. Wow, Homecoming is on the list? I'm surprised. I mean, this is definitely an interesting and creepy boss. The doll. The giant mannequin looking thing. Never know what weapon to use on that. Because you have all these type of weapons. It's like, which one to use? Well, it seems like the weapon to use on everything is like the knife. 
Although I guess here you're supposed to use the crowbar. <clears throat> but it still seems like the knife is like the best weapon of the game, at least for me. Because you get enemies in the stun lock. If you can dodge it well. The mirror room. I always thought it was the bathroom, but I guess, so yeah, mirror room. I don't know why I always thought it was the bathroom. But yeah, that, that moment was the mirror room. I agree with that. Definitely agree with the mirror room. Where her image freezes and starts bleeding. Now I think you could die in here. I forget how you escape from this. Let's see, I forget how you escape. Well, I guess you have to wait and escape at the right moment. Uh, I remember that from Silent Hill 3, that's a good steer. Yeah, you hear the noise and you come back and there's blood. Yeah, that's a good more pyramid head. You see it behind the bars, like what the hell is that? Like, ooh. Hmm. Silent Hill Downpour, honorable mention. <clears throat> I've never played this, so if I did, I never got this far. Really? That's an honorable mention? That's like one of the most important ones is the... <clears throat> so wait, is this on the list or is this an other or this an honorable mention? Yeah, this definitely should be on the list. This the way it open. I remember many people, including me, first play this. Go, what the hell is this? Because the terrain goes like, unlike Resident Evil, where it's fixed. The fact that the camera follows you in these weird angles, but it follows you, just made it a bit more eerie, a bit more creepy. I remember when I first played the game. I, I mean, damn, I died already. Okay, so that was number one. Good choice. But I remember being so pissed and I restarted the game. I'm like, no, no, I'm not dying now. But I don't know why I restarted it. You just replay it. But I'm like, ah, screw this. I think I did restart it once. And then I realized, oh, you're supposed to die. <laughs> and then you wake up. <laughs> so, yeah. Num so, okay. I guess as a quick recap... The hauntings in Silent Hill 4, I can understand that. Like, again, when I played Silent Hill 4, I don't think I stayed around the apartment that long to see it, and then when I did, it was using the items as soon as I can. I know he's supposed to go back frequently to the apartments, but it, the fact is just so random. Like, your first playthrough, you will, it seems like you will not see all the hauntings. And this seems like there's stuff you could miss. And it's like, do I have enough of these damn candles and medallions and stuff? So, yeah, some of these you, you may miss the second or third time you're playing it. So that's why I wasn't able to experience it when I played it. And PT, I never got to play, like I mentioned. The Giant Eileen Head, uh, that would probably be on my list. I agree with that. Again, the ending part of Sound Hill 2, I would say that's more, again, haunting than scary. But, I mean, you know, I would say it's important. I just, I don't know if I call it scary. And then stuff on the list, uh, I would put... I will put the moment Sound Hill 1 
a few from Silent Hill 1, the moment where that thing in the fridge, if you don't put the little lock thing on it, you turn, and then you hear this creepy sound. And then if you, di if you didn't, the thing will actually pull you in and you die. I think that's a good steer moment. Also, Silent Hill 1, the phone call, and you hear your kid crying, or you go down, you see the TVs, and your kid's images on all the TVs. So I think there's a couple moments of Silent Hill 1 that could have been on the list. Like, yeah, I would say the telephone bit, and the school, all the TVs, your daughter's images, that fridge bit, and the, the alleyway scene in Silent Hill 1. The Haunted Attraction, Sound Hill 3, I would agree with. Uh, the first appearance of, of Pyramid Head, Sound Hill 2. Definitely agree with that. Eileen uh, Head, I may agree with that. I was surprised, like, the first time, like, you, when you hide in the closet in Sound Hill 2. And Pyramid Head is right outside. I'm surprised that's not on the list. Very surprised. I don't know if I would put Homecoming on the list. It's kind of a cool boss. I don't know if I... If it's one of the top 10 serious moments. The mirror room, I mean, that, that would definitely be on the list. Try to think of Sound Hill 2. Hmm. I'm sure it's, it's been a while since I played it. I mean, that's the thing. It's been so long since I played a Sound Hill game. I'd have to replay them to make my mind a bit more knowledgeable in details. Oh, I remember the it, a lot of them remember Sound Hill One when the cat gets out of that damn thing and it leaves, and you just hear the cat scream, and it's, someone killed it. Like that's a creepy moment. I'm gonna go, oh shit. <laughs> That kind of moment. Let me see. Hill two scariest. Oh yeah, and Sound Hill two the when you're in the bathroom and you hear like someone scream, right? Like you, yeah, you knock on it. And someone, I think, knocks when you're about ready to leave. Yeah, you're knocking on the bathroom door, and as you're ready to leave, you hear this bell, boom! Whatever, when you run, you hear someone scream, ah! And James is like, what the hell? You're, like, you're in the middle of the hallway, you hear someone scream, like, what the hell? And in that bathroom, you knock on, and as about to relieve you, this explosion. Not explosion, but you hear this racket. Like, what the hell? Like, that, I think, deserved to be on the list. But yeah, there was a good. There was still some good stuff on the list, though. I gotta say, there was some good stuff on the list that I mentioned. In the mirror thing made sense. Uh, on the other stuff made sense. So, but again, I think the. I think there's more moments in Silent Hill One. Even when like you enter, at the schoolyard, and it's dark, and you enter. And you come out, and then you realize, like, you go in the sort of clock tower thing, you climb up. And it's like, wait, am I in the same spot? 
but the way the music is and you hear the snarling and then there's these little creatures come out of the darkness with knives and stuff like what the fuck but even that moment <clears throat> and yet I think you know Sound Hill 1 you know maybe because of my own personal experience there's a lot more in that game that uh, deserves a bit of credit at least to me though but yeah that's just me but overall some good list a couple I disagree with but overall again it's Silent Hill so can't complain too much about it I guess I really haven't played a Silent Hill game I've hated again the ones I played extensively 1 and 2 and Homecoming I didn't hate any of them. Four, again, I have played the second half. I'm not a fan of the second half, the Estor mission. Shattered Memories, I never played. Origins, I never played. Uh, some of them may be on that modded PS3 I got recently. May, may be on there. But, because uh, I got a mod of PS3 that has a lot of games, uh, PS2 and PS3 games on it. But yeah, with, the, with that said, anyway, I'm, I'm rambling now. Thanks once again, Mighty. Take care, everyone. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye for now.